In this video, we're going to introduce improper fractions and we're going to compare them to mixed numerals as well as proper fractions. Now, if we look at our improper fraction here, 7 over 2, you'll notice that it's quite different to the other fractions we have been showing you. It's different because the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom. You'll notice that when we look at the proper fraction, the number on top is smaller than the number on the bottom. These are the everyday fractions that we've been covering in the last few topics. Now to draw a proper fraction is quite easy. We just look at the denominator, which is 5, and cut our circle into 5 pieces. We then look at our numerator 3, and that is how many pieces we colour in. 1, 2, 3. This is the fraction 3 over 5. So if we look at our improper fraction, you will notice it has a numerator of 7 and a denominator of 2. The denominator tells us that we need to cut our circle into two pieces. Here is my circle here. All right, now we need to color in seven of these pieces. This is going to be a bit of an issue because I can only really color in two pieces. So how am I going to get around that? Well, what we do is we draw more circles. If I color in the pieces of this circle, I have now colored in four pieces. I reckon I need two more of these circles in order to color them in. I've now colored in five, six, and seven pieces. I needed four circles in order to draw the improper fraction 7 over 2. We can also represent this fraction as a mixed numeral. You will notice that we have three circles completely covered in. That represents the number 3. You will also notice that we have half a circle colored in. So we represent that as the fraction 1 half. The improper fraction 7 over 2 and the mixed numeral 3 and a half actually represent the same thing. Anyway, that concludes our video comparing improper fractions to mixed numerals and also proper fractions. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.